Apple gets caught red-handed. Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. So today I wanna to talk about Apple. And most of you guys out there are using Apple phones or some type of Apple device. And I've kind of been down on Apple for, uh, I'd say at least six months to almost a year now, especially when it comes to the PC side, when it comes to their computer side, where they really were behind the eight ball. They're charging a lot and giving little. And a lot of us professionals are just kind of getting sick of it. So we've migrated to PC. Now, that's not everyone, but a lot of creatives are now moving into the PC realm because Apple is just not giving us what we're looking for and they're making us pay a premium for it. So as of yesterday, Apple gets sued for basically slowing down their phones when a new phone comes out. Now, we've all had this thought, right? Oh my God, if I do this update, my phone is gonna start running worse instead of better. It doesn't matter what they say, it just always runs worse. Or a lot of us say, and I'm sure you guys have too, well, they've just introduced a new iPhone. That's the end of this. My phone is gonna start slowing down. I'm gonna be forced to go buy another phone. And it's just something that you just have a feeling. You know, you start moving things around. Stuff is a little bit slower, a little bit more jittery. Maybe you're not getting connection right, whatever it is, but it just feels like every time they come out with a new phone, our old phone just starts running like crap. Right, guys? Well, guess what? We weren't all crazy. We're not, we were not crazy. They're actually doing it. So TMZ actually announced, and I'm gonna pull this up because this was really, really, I just, I can't believe that they actually admitted to it. So they basically say, Apple's admission to slowing down older iPhones isn't sitting well with one California man. So he's going after the tech giant on behalf of all his fellow outdated iPhone users. Basically, this guy, Stefan, is putting together a class action lawsuit. He's out of LA against this monstrosity, okay, of a company, Apple. Kudos to this guy. Oh my God, right? So basically this is going to be on, on behalf of millions of other of us that have seen every time a new iPhone comes out, the old one just gets worse and worse. Now what they have said is that they have slowed down the phones because as they get older, the lithium batteries, just this, that, or whatever, and they don't want the phone to just basically randomly shut off. Okay, so they're slowing down the processing power, they're slowing down the screens, they're slowing everything down are for our benefit, guys, for our benefit. Are they freaking kidding me? Really? Can you imagine that? And as of today, the Chicago Sun-Times reports another lawsuit, a second lawsuit that's being levied against Apple for the exact same thing, basically deceptive, immoral, and unethical tactics. And I, I, I just, I am absolutely blown away by this, that this tech giant is actually going to be held accountable, guys, held accountable for all of these years of this nonsense that has been going on, right? I, I cannot believe it. So that plaintiff basically says that Apple's decision to slow down older iPhones to prevent battery health was, quote, never requested or agreed upon. That's 100% correct, right? I didn't agree upon slowing down my phone. I didn't accept this term, right? And they just simply did it. So. They say, unsurprisingly, he has accused Apple of using this feature as a ploy to push more users to upgrade every year. And this is absolutely 100% the case. This is not rocket science. We all know that this has been going on, but it has never been proven. So as I said, Apple says that they're doing it for our benefit, right? As lithium batteries get older, you know, we might get like a random shutdown or something like that. What a bunch of nonsense, okay? So if that's the case, all right? So hear me out here. If that's the case and we put a brand new battery into an old updated phone, okay? Will the phone now run at 100% capacity or it will not? And that is where this lawsuit I think is going to take shape. Because yes, if 
You can put a brand new battery in an old phone and now all of a sudden it runs perfectly on the new updates, right? Fantastic. Apple might get away with this a little bit. They're gonna have to turn this feature off, but they might get away with it. But guys, but, this is the big but. If, all right, they can prove that if you put a brand new battery in an old phone and it still runs lethargic, it still runs slower, it does not run how it originally ran, right? Now we're talking billions. And each and every one of us is going to get probably three bucks in the next 12 years or something when this Philly gets litigated, right? <laughs> Which really means nothing. But I do like that they're being held accountable, guys. I just, I really cannot believe it. Now, I just read something earlier today that this tax revision that just came through is going to allow Apple to repatriate the, I think it was like $293 billion that they have overseas. Well, if this all comes <laughs> to fruition, maybe they're gonna need some of that money to start handing it out to us when this class action is finished. So anyways, guys, that's my opinion. I wanna know what you guys think. I wanna know what do you think about Apple? What do you think about the current state of affairs that's going on over there with Apple? Do you feel like you're being taken advantage of by them? Do you believe that this to be true, that they are slowing down the phones? Do you think that they're doing it with our own, with our best interest at hand? Or do you think that they're doing it just as a ploy, all right, to get more and more money? from us for every single iPhone that we buy. What do you guys think about it? So that's about it. I wanna know what you think. If I don't hear from you guys in the comment area or if you don't see me in the next couple of days, I wanna wish you an absolute Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah if you're pagan. Enjoy Yule. Whatever you worship or whatever you do, enjoy it with your family with health, happiness, and prosperity. So anyways, guys, if you enjoy my content, as always, throw me a big thumbs up. That would be awesome. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you can get all of my content when it becomes available. And don't forget to share my content with your friends and family and other photographers in the community that you think possibly might like it. And finally, <laughs> Head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find a lot of photography tools that I've invented for photographers like you and me over the last few years. If there's something you like, pick something up and support me. I really would appreciate it. That's it, guys. I'm out of here. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.